What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Kenny Bad Senses. Welcome to episode 16. We're doing the second player for the Cleveland Guardians. We did Jose Ramirez in episode 15. Here we go, episode 16. We got Josh Bell. He was on the Padres last year, and now he's on the. He's he is a Guardian now, Cleveland Guardians. After this episode, we'll be doing the first player for the Chicago White Sox Radio Central. Whatever. Um. So Jose Ramirez got a six out of ten last time. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if it gets hot, if uh, Josh Bosanis gets higher, it moves on to the final five. And it actually is cold today. Last couple of baseball videos we've done, it was 90 degrees. We are now down to 52 degrees. Current temperature is 52 degrees. You could actually start to see the leaves. I don't know if you guys can see that. But the leaves are starting to appear on the trees now. It's 52. Current temperature is 52 degrees. Wind is, um, I think it's coming in, but it's like two miles an hour. So it's not going to affect the ball. Um, so I can hear like bangs in the background. Those are landscapers over there somewhere where I don't know. So if you hear that, sorry about that. Can't do anything about that. But yeah, we're going to see how Josh's, uh, Josh Bell's batting stance goes. Uh, as I'm recording this, the Bruins playoffs are going on that I'm streaming on the channel. So, um, excuse me. So, um, they, uh, definitely go check that out if you want to. Turn on notifications. Uh, game two is tonight. So hopefully they can take a commanding 2 0 lead. Here we go. First one. Josh, so Jose Mir's stance is like this. Josh Bell was like this. So, let's get ready to this. Alright, cards going by. Alright, let's do this. First swing. With the Josh Bell stance. Go! Right. First one onto the road. That's a good start. That's a great start. Yeah. It was, it is 40 degrees colder since the last baseball video, I'm pretty sure. It was 92 degrees when we did the last couple of baseball video. It was 92 degrees the last time we did a baseball video, the last couple ones. And now it's all the way down to 52. But... Um, today is Wednesday, and tomorrow will be 67 degrees. Friday is going to be 75 degrees, and Saturday is going to be 70 degrees. We won't get to that 80, 90 degree weather, but we still will get to the high, the high 60s to mid 70s, which is clearly enough um, warm weather for baseball. I'm doing, I'm doing a baseball field in 52 degrees, so. It's definitely doing it in 70 degrees. It's not going to be raining. So it's going to be. So after this 50 degree weather day, it's going to be in the 60s and 70s for the rest of the week when we get into end of April, getting closer to May. So a lot of baseball videos. Here we go. Second one. Not gone. Okay. Oh. Pretty solid start. That last one was a line drive. That one felt really good. Ooh, wow. Bouncing like a pinball on, the, on that tree over there. That was a little crazy. Yeah, the leaves were really nice, especially on uh, this tree right here. You can really start to see it. Even though now it's down, it's down 40 degrees. Gotta catch my breath too. <laughs> Gone. On to the road. It's doing pretty well. I mean, my hands are hurting a bit, probably because it's like cold, 52 degrees. Which explains it, line drive, pretty solid contact. Alright, here we go. Ooh, that's gonna go. That's far. On to the road, let's go. That was far. 
Ooh, line drive right through the tree. Literally right through it. Oh, I missed that. That was If you guys want to reach the support on the baseball videos, still can't believe I did that 55 minute baseball video just hit the house. We're not doing it today. It's back to King of the Bag Santas. I'm never doing that type of content again, okay? Nope. That's the one time you're gonna be seeing that on that channel. So if you wanna go check me if you wanna go check me out struggling for an hour trying to do something, check out that video. Came out yesterday. It's the video before this as I'm recording this. Dang it! I gotta stop talking while well, I try to swing. It's like golf. Don't talk in the backswing. Baseball, don't talk when you swing normally. Other the car comes. Right. That's gonna go there, so hopefully I don't hit it. Here we go. Let's not hit that car, please. Wow! <laughs> Knocking the leaves off that tree. Any, any, it's not, it's only springtime, it's not even fall, those leaves are, um, those leaves are already getting knocked down, and we're still seven months away from fall, <laughs> it's crazy. Was there a car coming? No, I thought there was for a second, alright. Oh, that's far. That's over the birdhouse. Yeah, that's gone onto the road. That's good contact, that's great contact. This is a really good bag stance. Really good. Wow, that was a big noise. That car is turning around. Okay, wait for that car to turn around here. All right. So it's gonna park there. So hopefully, I don't know. I don't think you guys can see the car, but I see it. And if I pull a ball, it's gonna hit it. So let's not hit the car, please. If I, I, I cannot pull the ball here. If I pull the ball, it's gonna hit the car. Please don't pull the ball. Please don't pull the ball. Don't pull the ball. I didn't. It's not gone. So scared right now. I do not want to pull the ball to hit that car over there. You guys can't see it, but it's over there. Come on. Don't hit the car. Don't hit the car. Okay. All right, we're just last pitch here before I hit The car is really right there. And if I just pull it once, it's probably going to hit it. So uh, let's not do that. So... We're gonna do this one last swing. This video is only like 10 minutes, so last swing here, and then we're gonna wait the bag stands. Last swing, let's get a home run, not pull the ball. We didn't pull the ball and not gone. Okay. So, ended off with some three line drives. It's a great stance. All right, before I rank it, it's definitely being Jose Ramirez <laughs> at six out of 10. So, out of 10, the Josh Bell bag stance gets an eight out of 10. It's really good. Um, Not the best bag stance we've seen. The best batting stance we've seen was Brandon Lau, who won the AL East Division Champion title uh, video. If you want to go check that out. I, think it's like, I forgot what episode it is, but it's in the playlist somewhere. Um, it had a 9.5 out of 10. This was an 8 out of 10. It's really good, really solid. You saw me hit a couple homers. You saw me hit a couple line drives that were great contact, and you saw me miss some. That's a solid batting stance. If you want to get the job done, that's what you do. 8 out of 10. And uh, Josh Post stance is moving on. First player to move on to the final five, AL East. 
I mean, not anyways, I'm so used to saying that. AO Central, Final Five champions. Um, so, next episode, episode 17, we'll have the first play of the Chicago White Sox, which I'll figure out. Until next time, I'll see you guys in episode 17.